What's up YouTube? It's the solution for the solution for kicks. Back with another, another much needed dope video. And I'm into like really paying homage and uh, showing love and respect to people that support me. And uh, I know you're looking at this camouflage shirt right here. There goes the solution again with this camouflage. And this is for good reason right here. You, you talk about building bonds and relationships and the connection you have with people. So I'm going to talk about my barbershop, okay? And I don't plug a lot of local business and stuff like this, but it's a little deeper than that. Um, well, a lot deeper than that. Great guy. My man, Les Autry, Leslie Autry, back to basic barbershop, Hurry Warsbach Boulevard, right outside of... Um, Fort Sam Houston. I've been going to this barbershop off and on since January of 2000. So you're talking about over 17 years of barbering this um, great man and shop has provided me with. And um, within the last few years, Dathan, Dathan Manley um, is a, a his barber that he has there with him in the shop. Great guys, great guys. It, it doesn't even feel like I'm paying for a service when I go in there. It's more like I'm gonna go hang out with the homies, you know, the the you know, like brothers, man. It's retired military. Liz, he's retired military, um, as well as I am. So he was talking about basically expanding what he does in his reach and giving back to the community. So he came up with something. So with his concept of B2B, which is his logo that he's had for years. For years. You're talking over twenty years of barbering, and I've known him for seventeen of those twenty something years. And B to B. So he came up with that and he was telling me this. He told me this in confidence. I said, Les, I'm gonna put this out there, man. On on every social media platform I have, I'm gonna talk about what you have going on here because you're a great guy. You indeed do great things, man. And um heck, it's it's not an issue. I don't want anything for free from you guys. I'm always gonna pay for your service because I respect your product and you should do that. So I'm gonna slide the shoes over for a second. So back to basics, along with Back to blessed, B to B, B to bless is what Les is talking about. He has right decree twenty three from Psalms twenty three. Um, for those of you who are religious, you know if you're not, it's just a good thing. You know it's a good thing. And uh, he has down here the full verse, and um, I'm not going to read that, okay? Because I have people of other denominations and religions on there. But if you're interested in the shirt, um, it, it supports the Wonder Warrior Project. Uh, cancer patients, you name it. He's giving back by having these shirts. And this isn't the only colorway that he had. He has black, white, he has pink for cancer awareness. Um, and I'm going to get some more shirts and I'm going to be wearing these around like I do other proprietors that I know. But like I say, uh, Les and, and Dee, Dathan, they're, they're great guys. They're great, great guys. Uh, like I said, since 2000, I've been walking into his shop. Um, been back and forth even when I came back to San Antonio just to visit on vacation I need a haircut I would just drop in all right and if I didn't need a haircut I had to drop in and and show those guys hey man I appreciate you and he, he just didn't realize I've been coming to a shop for so long you know it, it just been yeah they you know they, they call me T there's T and sometimes I just come in and just kick it with them you know just hang out and that's how the barbershop is within a lot of communities so bless 23 you know you, you you can't beat this man you can't beat this all right i decree 23 is just good stuff good stuff how it's well me it's well me well well me it's it's not see-through this is a, a nice high quality shirt and um heck, I, I need to talk to him about where he he told me i forgot he told me he got shirts made but that's a, a high quality shirt. But we're gonna move to the uh, the shoes, and this was an interesting cop. I haven't been to the, the outlet in a while, and uh, I was bored last week, last Thursday to be exact. And um, OG Rafa he did a video on the outlet. They were just in there clowning, um, thinking they had the Master Twelves in there. You know about the Jordan Twelve Masters. And I'm saying they were in there doing this thing. And um, I saw something on the screen while he was doing it. So I was like, let me go out there. You know, because it was a shoe that he wouldn't cop. And I, I actually picked up the shoe. It was a Jordan 1 
the uh, patent leather green, the anti-gravity patent leather greens. I picked them up $59.99. I was going to get 10% off of them. Cool. Quick buy them out of there. So I decided to walk down to the uh, the youth and kids size to check out some shoes for some mothers. You know, make sure they, you know, if my daughter has something, somebody I know they might want a shoe or whatever. Peep that out. Didn't have anything. Um, when I was sitting down to try on the green anti-gravities, uh, guy that worked there, uh, Jaquan, I think his name is, he um, he said, hey, you wear a size 9? I said, yeah. He said, hold on. I got some 12s in the back. I was like, 12s? And I'm thinking it's the wings that I have, the orange and black, the orange, the zoom orange and black wings. I thought he's bringing those out. So he comes out, he said, I got the wolves and the nylons. I was like, no, nah, I can't do the wolves. Not here in San Antonio. Wouldn't really get a chance to wear them if you just want to rock them. I've seen people wear them. But I said, let me see the nylons. He took them out. And these were not on the shelf, people. We actually, like I said, he went to the back and got these. So here they are. Here they are. Well, we pull them out the box. And this was a steal. I asked him, I said, hey, man, you know, how, how much are these? I wasn't about to pay $190 for 10% off. That's that's just, I don't do that. Y'all know me, Mr. Never Pay Full Retail. And um, he said that this box is probably not right because it's a suggested price. But um, <clears throat> a lot of times when the tag is pink, and you can see that, it's lower. So, went up to the counter, scanned it, it was lower, it was 170 he scanned it again, put the discount there, it wound up being, um, uh, 123 123 yeah, and this is the shoe that's going to cost you 205 with the tax on it, and they're, they're comfortable, um, like I said, I, I wasn't chasing the flu games, anything like that, or the OVOs, the, the hype B sneakers and everything, and if you got them, that's cool, but these were different. So what I normally do when I find a sneaker that's a little unique, I go on to StockX, eBay, and all those good sites, uh, Soul Supremacy. Um, what's the other place? Uh, there's a couple of them out there. And I, I check what the going rate is for these shoes. And these are reselling at $320. Like, and these slid under the radar for me. I was like, $320? Now, you know, it's, it's an outlet. So either... It's an excess shoe, it's a B grade. And it's hard to find to the naked eye. Shout out to Mike Rich. He he talked about this before. And um what's my man? Rob Dollar. He broke down the difference between B grades, UAs, and 98s and all that stuff. Hey, free Rob Dollar, man. Free the boy Rob Dollar. Give him back his YouTube channel. <laughs> I enjoyed his video. He's very knowledgeable on um what was real and what was. A lot of people didn't like that. And I just I watched his videos for that. What's a U898, you know, and a, a, a foo-foo, as he called them. <laughs> but I guess he pissed off some people. You'd be hard-pressed to find the uh, the flaws in this shoe. And the stuff I'm looking at, I'm, I'm reaching, honestly. I see a little uh, trail on the stitching and a little glue splash here and there. But nothing like, man, you know, these are B-grades. I could see right here. The average sneaker head can't tell you the difference between a B-grade and a retail because I could go to Foot Locker and if the shoe is there, I buy this, then put the uh, outlet shoe in front of you and you'll probably be wrong 98% of the time. So it's your money, cop what you cop. I think it was a good deal. Um, I don't see anything wrong with these. These look really well made. I'm cool with them. I almost wore them today, but uh, I passed on because I was trying to uh, stunt and show a, um, a local brand um, their t-shirt. and these didn't match with what I was wearing, but who matches anymore today anyway? But that concludes the video. And remember, prime example, it's not about how much you pay for the sneaker. It's why did you pay that much? Y'all dig the background? Y'all like this? Y'all like this? And people, this is far from my collection. This rack is holding about with the shoes that's not on here that's over there. It's, it's holding like 45 sneakers, okay? 45 sneakers I have. Trust me, way more than that. This, these are just the ones I wanted prominently displayed, okay, to show y'all. I got that stuff, but you're not going to see any Yeezys, okay? You're not going to see any Yeezys up there. Well, I have no desire to get any Yeezys. I, I'll leave it at that. All right, so, I'm out of here. Boom.